So at the moment, our, our projects may be varied enough uh, in terms of maybe a little content or fonts. Remember, there was the homework assignment before where you had to choose your own fonts. So if you are using my copy of the work, of course, it, uh, it's got my font. Uh, you have all pretty much have the, the um, gray design. Everyone's got the default built-in gray and light gray and dark gray design. We want to look at how we can change that we'll be able to choose our own color designs. This will be the homework, and you'll probably be able to get it done today and get points for it today. So the way we do this is if you open up a web browser, let's go to the website jQueryMobile.com. Our project design interface is based on jQuery Mobile. We set that up last month. This was allowing us to do the data rolls of pages and the data rolls of buttons. This is what will also allow us to change our design. At the very least, for example, colors. If you scroll down, there's a section that talks about theming, the theme roller. So this is the tool that we'll be able to use to colorize, to change the, the design of the of the project. So either in this theme roller section you can click its icon or you also see it at the top bar themes. So anyway I'll click on the icon theme roller. This opens up this interface where it says create up to 26 theme swatches lettered from A to Z each with a unique color scheme then mix and match for unlimited possibilities. Now we looked at it very briefly, but we have data theme equals A as the default in jQuery Mobile. If we set data theme equals B, we get this dark design, this dark theme. So we have those two basic colors, the light theme and the dark theme built in. But then we can set up data theme C, D, E, G, all the way to Z. And so we have all of these possibilities of design that we can work with. Click Get Rolling. And then you have the basic interfaces, A, B, C, and you can add more later on to colorize your project. The way you would do this is, for example, I'm going to grab a color on top here, red, and drag it to the header. So what I'm doing is I'm redesigning theme A which is gray upon gray upon gray, and putting in colors to these different elements however I want. I may not have a good eye for graphic design, that's fine, but you're not going to get graded on that. You're going to get graded on being able to do this. So I can drag and drop colors really easily. I can also look on the left side, and I have, for example, page, and I have some elements here that I can edit, so the color that I dropped in was this hexadecimal color. I can do other things with text colors, text shadows. There's my header and footer section, text color. Sometimes I can easily drag a swatch onto the element that I want. Sometimes I have to select it from the menu. If I'm kind of making a big mess, what I can do is, to start over, I can just reload the page and do that again. So I have these various elements that I can edit. Let's say I don't quite have very good eye for color combinations. We have the Adobe Cooler swatches, Adobe Cooler, however you say it. Here, under Adobe Cooler, you click on that, get these pop-ups of colors that have already been designed by good designers that complement each other. So we have Galaxy, uh, 
honey van, etc. The way we could use these colors is, you know, you click on these colors to put them into your your sort of color well on the side here. Or maybe I'm using Barber Video. I click on those colors, I put them in my recent color, and then I can drag them and put them into my design. So right over here where it says Adobe Cooler Swatches, um, we have these basic ones. You can also mix your own colors. You, you pick a color or you go into the lightness and saturation of it so you can make the color darker, weaker, add white or black to it. So pick these different colors. You can even mix it via this color wheel. So if you go to colors, and you rather think in terms of a color wheel, it's there. You have undo and redo at the top. What I would say is, take a moment to design three different styles, A, B, C. Put some colors together, then I'll show you how to apply it to your project in just a moment. Be careful that you don't refresh the screen because you'll lose it. But put together some colors, A, B, and C, definitely A. You can do B and C as well, and then we'll see how to apply it. I'm not sure. I never use it, but it looks like if you turn on the inspector, it kind of highlights, kind of highlights what that element is. But I don't see exactly why. It's kind of like the inspector for when you have F12 in your browser, but not doesn't tell you all the details. I'm not sure. I never, I never really used it. It's always been there, but I've never noticed it. If it's off, you you can still use B. Oh, You can, uh, yes, if, you, if you're if you I'm on Swatch B, I can then duplicate it there. Um, I can delete swatches to themes. If I drop a color I don't like, how can I undo it? On the top strip, there's an undo oh, right. next to each other. Yes. If you don't, if you don't like the whole swatch, you can select it, and then you've got delete, oh. delete that. All right, we can, you'll be able to continue.
your masterpiece in a moment, but the way we use it uh, in our project is you see at the top we have on the top row of icons we have download and there's a few things we need to do here. If you click on download it'll ask you for a theme name. It's going to create a file, a CSS file basically. So whatever name we put here that's what our file will be. For example mydesign.css that's what the theme name here is asking for. This will generate a zip file um, where you can uh, then incorporate it. Before we download it, we also have another useful thing. We have share. If you click on share, what will happen here is this will give you a unique uh, address to come back to edit this swatch, these three swatches again, within 30 days, however. So if you want to come back to these exact colors next month, they'll be gone. So between now and 30 days, you can still come back and edit these, font, these colors. So it might be useful to copy this link and save it for yourself somewhere, but it's not going to last by next month. I'm just going to save this in my project folder. I'm going to copy that link and just save it as a file called um, new theme or something. This is optional. Uh, you don't have to do this, but I'm just going to save that design in color. What we do want, which I'll, I'll get back to it in a moment, is we want download. Share is just a, a quick thing that only works for 30 days. But when we do download, it'll give us it'll give us the, the file in a couple of ways. And if we have downloaded it, we'll see then if we do come back in two months, we can re-upload the, the design that we had. So this link will only work for 30 days, but once we download our colors, we'll be able to import our colors later. Import lets us then copy and paste the contents of any uncompressed jQuery mobile theme to upload it for editing. We're going to download and it's going to give it to us in a variety of formats. A compressed version, ready for production, for usage in our apps, and an uncompressed version that uh, is human readable. This requires your uncompressed version to re-import in order for us to continue to edit. You might see buttons in different parts about which version Obviously, I would use the latest version, 1.4.5. You don't have to change it to anything else. We have jQuery Mobile 1.4.5 in our project. So if you want to bring your design back, it's import. What we want right now is to download. We're going to download this. We're going to put a name into it. And the way we use it is it's going to give us, if we call that mycustomtheme.css, in our code, we're going to add that line of code. If you changed, okay, this is the confusing part. If you change your icons, icon colors, and you only use the basic jQuery mobile structure file, you'll also need this line. We don't need that. We, we're not using jQuery mobile structure 145. We're using jQuery mobile 145. We're not using the structure file which has even less design. We're using the basic jQuery mobile 145 file, which has a basic design. Uh, structure is even more basic, so we need our theme and we need the icons. Not for us. We're only going to need our custom CSS. And this is actually kind of out of order from what has actually worked. We should have, well, it's out of order if we were using the structure. We're not using the structure file, so our custom code will be after our basic jQuery and the jQuery. It will be after. So, theme name on the top right, let's call it My Style. Anything you want, My Style is fine. Click Download Zip. So it says basically use your CSS file. Attach it to your project. <clears throat> Click download zip. This is going to download your zip file. 
you can show it where it ends in your folder. I want that. I want to save that zip file on my flash drive so that I can use its reuse its colors later. I'll put it inside of my flash drive. And in the zip file, we have an index file as an example, and then inside of themes, the, the thing that we need inside of your zip file, inside of your themes folder, is mystyle.min.css. Keep everything else. We need the uncompressed version if you choose to import your code back into the theme roller. But in our project, we want to use mystyle.min because it's compressed, it's more efficient. 3K, 4K. So I need to uncompress only the mystyle.min CSS file into my WW folder. Let's see, so in my project, in my app, in my WW folder, I need mystyle.min.css. Put it into your project folder. Then we're going to open our index file and link your custom CSS to the index so that your project gets the new design. So those steps in general. You go to Theme Roller, you design your colors, you click Download. When you download the zip, copy your style file into your project, and the final step is we'll edit the index to use that those colors. So I'm going to open the index HTML file of my WW folder of the of the project of the project mm -hmm. folder. Oh, I see. Look, this this is something here. Uh, Hmm. Okay. We had a My Styles that we did a while ago, last month. That was the custom CSS code we, we wrote. Uh, maybe we should have called this My, my Colors. So either or, over on themeroller.com, maybe we should have called it My Colors. In the index file, we'll link to the CSS file. The name doesn't matter, of course, but this makes this sen this makes sense to me at a glance. So, in your index file, we have our jQuery mobile full copy. We have a uh, at least one font CSS file. We have the custom CSS file. What I would do is before the custom CSS file, this is where I would link to the, the new My Colors. So I'm going to copy I'm going to copy that line and then just edit it. So we have my styles, which is from last month. The one I just downloaded right now, I did end up changing its name, My Colors, instead of My Style. You want it before all the custom CSS. Just as a quick view, I can do Run Chrome. It's not going to be functional because we have to do Cordova Run Browser. But just to look at it very quickly, we can do Run Chrome from Notepad, and you should see your new colors. So we just edit the, uh, rename the my style file, right? Yeah, I renamed it into mycolors.min.css. Which folder are you on right now? This is the WW folder of the project, of, of the MySTCE project. <coughs>
It has to be after the jQuery mobile, yes, because it's a, this sets up our basic design. Mm -hmm. Then we override the design with our new colors. Then we can further override stuff because we have our my styles last. Are you on the index? That's right. Index file of the project and uh, the minus is project. If I do a quick test in Chrome, yes. I have a question. Like, did it three different ones? How do you, like, I got the first one, mm -hmm. but if I want to switch the second one, the third one, it's. Uh, Here's how we do it. So if you got it to work, you yeah. will see everyone should see their new colors. Well, this is theme A. When we want to use the second colors or the third colors, we need data theme B, data theme C. So the way you do that is right here, section, uh, data role, and ID, we can add data theme equals B. So we have swatch A and swatch B and swatch C. So that'll get the second color theme. You can apply data theme to most elements. And usually when you apply it to a parent element, it will trickle down to the rest, usually. If it doesn't fully change, then I'll go to header, and I'll add data theme B to the header. <clears throat> Usually adding it at the top applies everywhere else. And so the theme A is default? Exactly. So that's why when we were in theme roller, we, we worked on themes A, B, and C so we can see a change. Adding theme B, refreshing that, there's my theme B. Very cool. Now if I go to the art screen, it still has theme A. So that again does that. The default is that theme A is visible. Yeah, you have to go to each of your sections. Go to each of your sections and add the theme B. But thinking about it in those terms, if we know theme A is the default, then maybe theme A should be the one that is fully designed as your main colors. Say that again. It, sh it should, without even saying anything extra, it should show you your colors from, from theme A automatically. Only theme A so far. The second thing that I that I said was then you, if you want to change to other colors, you have to add data theme B to your sections to change it. Exactly. So I have A, B, and C, and you can change them. You can add a data theme to different elements, and then you'll see it. All right, so this is the big idea here. If we want to get different colors, we use the theme roller. We apply the CSS file, and now we've got new colors. 
So we have, we've learned previously how to change our fonts. We've learned now how to change the, um, the colors. Um, we're probably not going to get to changing icons, but remember the documentation on how to change the icons is in jQueryMobile.com. You go to the documentation, you read how to make custom icons because you would need to design those new uh, shapes. You would need to draw new shapes, new icons in Photoshop or Illustrator or whatever, and then write a little bit of code as per the jQuery Mobile documentation, and then you'll get your own, you'll get your own colors. I mean, your own icons. That one's not going to be required. Right, so did everyone get a get a result here? Were you able to change the theme? All right, so if this um, if that worked as a quick change in your in your project, you we're gonna we're gonna go uh, we're gonna create some of these assets. Remember, the Amazon portal was asking us for screenshots and other things, so we need to create screenshots and we need to create icons and such. So one of the things I wanted us to do first is this to change the design a little bit of our project so that we don't ha all have the exact same design. I'm going to start a new recording here to focus on creating screenshots, which we've looked at briefly before, but now we'll look in more detail.